Here's question 19 from the 2015 non-calculated GCSE. Um, so, um, we've got a probability question. Um, generally you can have just straight out probability questions or you can have tree diagrams. Um, I think this is probably going to be a tree diagram because one thing happens then another thing happens. Um, the options appear to be orange and yellow and that's all there is so it's probably just going to be the classic double forking uh, situation and we got orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow and here's my summary orange, 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 yellow, yellow, orange and yellow, yellow now <coughs> this question is tricky because it doesn't actually tell you the number of sweets in the bag and what I recommend in situations like this is just change it to a simpler problem in other words do it as if that was like 10 and whatever you would have done if that was a 10 do it with it with an N so if that had been a 10 we would have gone 6 out of 10 are orange and 4 out of 10 are yellow. But it's not 6 out of 10, it's 6 out of N. And when I said 4 just then, I got that by taking away 6 from 10. Yeah, that's how I got the 4. Now, she doesn't put the sweet back in, so in the easier problem, if that had been a um, 10, that would now be a 9, but don't write a 9, write an N minus 1, and if that had been 6 in the bag initially, <coughs> that would now be 5, and that's fine because that is actually a 6, and what I normally do, <coughs> is I would just copy that figure up there so I'm going to do that here just because it's a tricky question with algebra doesn't mean I can't use the same method <coughs> now same thing again if that had been a 4 out of 10 and I take another yellow out then it would now be 3 in other words, one less. So I need to write something that's one less than this. And there it is. And that would stay the same. Let's just check. That plus that needs to be n minus 1, which it is. And you get the items on the summary by multiplication of the fractions. Okay, so um, I'm now good to answer the question. Oh, right, here they've told us a fact. Um, the probability she'd eat two orange sweets is this. So, in fact, I wasted a bit of time there. If I uh, kicked off my. Uh, tree skills, I would have realised that I really don't need those. I could have just had those and those and that. But anyway, no matter, we've now told that, that figure there is a bird. And our job is to muck around with that until this appears. And here I go, I'm going to times both sides by three. And I'm going to times both sides by n times n minus 1 in a bracket. <coughs> Expand the bracket. And now subtract 90 from both sides. And that's part A. <coughs> part B tells me to solve this. 
Three ways to solve a quadratic. One is to complete the square, another is to factorise, and third is to use the formula. This is a non-calculated paper and that number is quite big, so I don't really want to use the formula. Let's hope that it factorises. Yeah, it does. So therefore n equals 10 or n equals negative 9, but because it's a probability question, um, it has to be n equals 10.